you have negative items on your credit report and I have techniques for you, all right? So you're going to use this worksheet to stack and map out your disputes to the creditors, the credit bureaus, and the collectors, all right? Now, this all goes with the polyangle dispute tactics. Now, what is that? Well, it's becoming a biggest pain in the ass that you possibly can and attacking from all sides, bureaus, creditors, collectors. And we're doing this because, hello, it is not simple to remove these, but when you do it the right way and you are persistent and you are consistent, you will get these collections, charge-offs, late payments, whatever removed. Now, before we start, make sure that you smash the like, subscribe if you haven't done so, and hey, if you want to see if a credit sweep would be a good fit for you, head over to my740.com. Yes, that is that link that you see right at the top of the screen. Schedule a call with me and I will see if I can help. All right, so I want for you to pause this video, go grab this PDF. Use the link in the description. All right, now, if you're back with me, make sure that you start marking this up. How can you ensure that you're the biggest pain in the ass? I want you to mark your notes down, right? Now, these are different stacking techniques that you can use or you can add into your dispute plan, all right? So we have original creditor disputes, collection agency disputes, sending letters to the bureaus with one day between, sending one account per letter per bureau, sending one account per letter per collection agency. An example of this would be if you have multiple medical accounts, right? And they're all with collection agency ABC. Instead of putting them all on one letter, you can send one individual letter per account. Submit CFPB complaints against the bureaus, against the creditors, and against the collectors. Now, a little bit of a caveat here. You want to make sure that you exhaust all your remedies before going this route. And I do have videos that go into this and explain this. All right. Send a dispute letter every 30 days. What are you waiting for? If you're waiting to see if they're going to respond, if they're going to delete, you're just wasting your time. Okay. There must be at least 30 days in between, but I dispute, I'd say about 33 days or so in between. Now, if that account is still on your credit report, then it doesn't matter what they're coming back and saying, it's still on there. And all you need is your report when you're using factual disputes, all right? Fax those collectors, fax the creditors, send your collection letters certified, send your creditor letters certified, send follow-up letters to the collection agencies like the validation of debt letters two through four, as an example, send follow-up letters to the creditors and on round one, what method would be the best for you to achieve the highest deletion or correction rate. Now, I want for you to answer this, but here are your options. Simple request, like the regular Joe. Demand, like I need to see blah, 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 the copies of, you know, my wet signature, all that stuff. Lawsuit, if these aren't removed or corrected, I will have no choice but to blah, blah, blah. Now, the answer to this is really simple, and it's the simple request, the regular Joe. Here's an example. I'm not sure what these accounts are on my credit report that I pulled on Friday via identityiq.com and I'd like to see I'd like to get some assistance with this. I know that I have to give you 30 days to investigate, so I wanted to make sure that I sent this out now because I have a job interview in a few months. And they're going to take a look at my scores. Can you help me? I'd also like to see an updated credit report. Thanks. You see how simple that is? There's nothing in here telling them that you're going to take them to court if they don't remove this. There's nothing saying pursuant to section 609. There's none of that stuff. None of those things matter. If round one comes back as verified or with updated info, but it's still present on your credit report, what would be a good stacking technique for your disputes? Original creditor letter, collection letter, such as the VOD one, round two, credit bureaus. Now, this is actually going to be all three. So you can send out your round two credit bureau letters. You can send collection letter one, which is the VOD. And you can also find the proper letter to the original creditor. Now, if round one comes back as verified or with updated info, which follow-up method would be best? Are you going to do a challenge like a method of verification, proof of verification letter, or should you be sending out a new dispute reason? Well. The answer to this is actually both. Now, here's the deal. What you're going to do is you're going to use the method of verification or the proof of verification in your first paragraph. Now, in your disputed accounts, that's where you're going to put that new dispute reason because you have to remember that the key to removing this is actually in the dispute reason and not the letter. All right, so I want for you to do the same thing for round two, round three, round four, round five, and round six. And then like I mentioned, if you want to see if this is something that 
I can do for you, head over to my740.com, schedule that call with me, and I will see if I can help. But that is it for today. I will see you tomorrow. We took a little bit of a break. Saturday was my birthday. Obviously, Sunday was Easter, and today is my 11-year anniversary with my husband. So I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful week, and uh, that is it.